Hello, folks. It's Al Nigren again with the last of our filmmaker interviews for the New Jersey Film Festival Fall 2012 season. We have a wonderful program lined up, as you probably already know, that will start on September 13th and will run through November 2nd on select Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evenings at Rutgers University in our state-of-the-art facility, Voorhees Hall, Room 105. Tonight, we have Leah Cohen here, who is the director of 99% Solution, a terrific short film that focuses on a number of issues. You want to tell our audience about the, them, Leah? Well, actually, uh, uh, one of the interesting things is that uh, the title actually describes, uh, describes the documentary, is that uh, it's, there's sort of a play on words, is that Solution could be two things, is that solution could be water, mm -hmm. and also solution could be uh, solving a problem. Yeah. And the 99% uh, really speaks to uh, the political aspects of things that have been happening in this country in the last uh, year or so, like with the 1% versus the 99%. This is a film about New Jersey as well. It, this is a film about New Jersey, and it's also a film about the world. Mm. And, and basically, in the film, is that I try to bring uh, issues that water is something that we all need to have mm. to live, uh, just as food is something we need to have to live. Mm. And uh, it's something that uh, I think, especially in um, uh, in, in the world, you know, is that it's, there's a much larger, uh, it's more well known is that there's probably a million people or so that are struggling, mm -hmm. you know, over getting access to water. Mm -hmm. Is that it's not as clear in this country is that that's an issue at this point, yeah. is, that, uh, is, is that most people think that water will always be here. Right, and always be free and always be free. Mm -hmm. And that's something that actually is a big issue that's, that's happening uh, throughout the world is that, and, and basically that has to do with privatization yeah. of water, is that uh, basically uh, people are understanding is that water is probably more precious than anything, is that, and, and people that understand this are basically buying up water mm -hmm. and uh, controlling water. Yeah. And, and uh, just like in many other uh, uh, types of industries, is that things are being privatized. Mm -hmm. And we're losing, in that privatization, is that what happens is that you lose the ability to, to control it. You have to pay for it. And somebody can say, hey, you know what, is that unfortunately is that you can't get access anymore mm -hmm. to this. How did you decide to make this film? I mean, when did you decide? And how long did it take you to make it? Um, I f first, it's really actually interesting, is that I answered an ad in a local newspaper, is that, do you want to learn how to make a documentary? <laughs> and it was uh, up to that point I had been a still photographer, mm -hmm. and I said, you know what, this actually sounds like this would be fun to do. Mm -hmm. So uh, as part of that is that I ended up at Princeton Community TV, where I've been uh, uh, volunteering for the last year or so. Mm -hmm. And in the documentary group is that we talked a little bit about um, uh, what we might want to make a, a documentary on. And, and uh, we started to talk about water. And what happened was is that, um, is that I was in the group for a while and I just saw a really different direction mm -hmm. uh, for, for where I wanted to take it. Which is where I did take it, and yeah. and so so what happened was is that so I've been working on this thing for about uh, for about eighteen months or so. Yeah, and I think th what I liked about the film myself was that first of all I agreed with a lot of what was go what was in the content of the film, which is a political statement, and it is about putting people first mm -hmm. and moving forward a in terms of people's lives, making sure that. Um, those that have a lot of money don't determine the lives of everyday people. And, I, and I, I, there was a kinship with me in the film while I was watching it. And so I, I wanted to thank you for doing that, too. 
Well, I, I, we, we've spoken on the phone, and, yeah. and you mentioned uh, to me is, is that uh, you're a political person as well. Yeah. And, and, and that's actually really uh, um, what drives me, is that uh, I've, uh, I guess I've been political since 1968, and political meaning uh, left-leaning, yeah. you know, and uh, being involved in anti-war types of things, environmental issues and things of that sort. And it's really a continuation of this. And uh, I've written and I've been politically active, but this gives me an opportunity uh, to express my politics. And, I, and, and if you watch it, you know, I'm overtly political. I, I take, mm -hmm. I take uh, you know, uh, specific stands in a sense of, mm -hmm. of, of what a specific stand. And I and I and I think there's like I said there's kinship we we share the same kind of point of view and I at the same time as the festival goes um, we we get all types of films and we try to bridge cultures mm -hmm. but somehow this film was so close to home that it, it, it needed to be seen by our community and that's the amazing thing we're we're going to be showing this film on Friday October fifth again in Voorhees 105 at 7 p.m. with a series of shorts. And there's a couple of other films that also have kinship with your film. There in the River is about um, the shad population in the Delaware River. Absolutely. And then there's One Brooklyn Boat by Megan Hessenthaler from Brooklyn, and she focuses on this one man who lives in a boat and does everything without power. But So folks, if you want to see this great film, since we've run out of time, Come and check it out on Friday, October 5th. Leah will be there as well as a number of the other filmmakers to mm -hmm. take your questions and to introduce the film. And you can get more info at njfilmfest.com or call us at 848-932-8482. Thanks so much for joining us, Leah. Well, it's, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.